Katie and I were really keen that this process was about children collaborating with professional artists. Uh, we thought that if the children felt confident enough to express themselves and be creative with what we were doing, the film that we would make together would be better as a result. Uh, the idea for the film came from a previous project that Katie Wilson and I had worked on with the GFT platform and Starcatchers. The project was called This Workshop Sucks and it was a performance for uh, early years audiences that featured Katie and I as scientists trying to help Hetty the Hoover become the biggest Hoover in the world. Uh, from the beginning we knew it was going to be a process that was new to us both and so we contacted uh, some of the nurseries that we would be filming and would be used in the film and asked really for some time just to play and experiment and try uh, some of the shots out, uh, some of the costumes that we might use and some of the props as well. Um, so that's what we did. We knew that one of the big scenes in the film would be uh, set in a disco. That was one of the things that we knew from the very beginning. What we didn't know was uh, what we would be wearing, how we would be moving, um, and how we would uh, set that whole shoot up. So we went and uh, tried some stuff out. We also knew that there was going to be a big scene in The Doctors when Hetty goes to see what's wrong with her, what's wrong with her tummy. So again, we went into one of the nurseries and asked the children about their experience of going to the doctors, about what they thought might be wrong with Hetty, and about how we could go about uh, finding uh, a solution to what's, what was wrong with her. I'm interviewing Lady at the moment. So what are you going to do about the bin body? And and Dr. Nina, what do you think? Um, um, she'll get better soon. She'll get better soon. This work was really useful. Um, the it gave us a really strong idea of the story that we should be telling, um, yeah. what, what costumes Looking and props good. and how the thing should look. <laughs> and also, Katie worked with some of the children to make some of those costumes and props as well. Once that work was finished, we worked with Joanna and a team of artists from Toad's Caravan, her studio over in the west end of the city. Um, Joanna is a fantastic uh, filmmaker, uh, animator, and we worked with her to make a space, a platform, turn it into a green screen studio. And once Katie had finished putting the finishing touches to the costumes uh, and the props, everything was ready. All we needed were some performers. Marcus. Get a haircut. Get a haircut. Hiya. 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 Hiya.
We worked with groups from Balanak Family Learning Centre, from Sandeg Nursery School, from Wester Craig's Nursery School, from Hullabaloo Child Care Centre and from Helensley Nursery School. Uh, the children came and worked with us for about a week at Platform and we slowly moved through each scene in the film. Once we'd finished shooting the material, Joanna and her team uh, took the footage away to add animated doors, houses, dance floors, fish tanks and no end of other things as well. The film was then passed on to Stu, who has done, I think, an incredible job of bringing it to life using lots of amazing music and sound effects. So although I don't have any footage of that work going on, it was huge. I think that really is more or less the story of how we made This Sucks the movie. Thank <laughs> you.